So Boris is done. Or is he dead? He did espouse that dead is nastier than done. Power to the four people that get that reference. Anyway, so this is Boris Johnson. Publicly educated toff. Very unique charisma. A single force in British politics. He was first to be the mayor of London. Then a whole bunch of places in cabinets. Landside election as PM in 2019. We get Brexit done. Bottle Covid. Bottle during Covid. And now he's quit. Cause Rishi a backstander. And he's done with the Tory party. All caught up. Now he has been seen having a chat with Nigel Farage. And Farage has released a video on his channel addressing. And lots of people on the right are furious. They're done with Bojo. And it's not hard to see why Boris is a lying, manipulative coward who failed at doing everything he said he would. But this is why the anti-establishment never win. Because if you want to bring down the establishment in a country like the UK with a voting system that we have, you're going to need to run an insurgency. You can't just have a bunch of outsiders shaking their fists at a wall. And like Boris or not, that is what he is. He is inside the wall. Boris Johnson got the Tories' largest majority with a sentence and a floppy haircut. He has all of the connections. He knows how to put those connections into use. He has all of the knowledge. And you might not like to hear it, but he is charismatic. In Reform UK, have a manifesto that is widely popular, although not particularly well known. And now here you have one of Britain's largest media personalities, Nigel Farage, coming together in a dream team that's happened before. They don't have to like each other. You don't have to trust each other, but you do have to have converging interests. And I think at this point, it's safe to say Boris Johnson wants to see the death of the Conservative Party. So why don't you just give the guy a hand and use it to your advantage? If you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to Politics Shortboard.